I appreciate this. So, settings before anything else on first boot. Uh... No, wait, switch back to the... to the pad. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. You... Uh, it changed itself over to a keyboard when the mouse moved, and now it's not switching back. Uh, okay, well, we'll figure it out in-game then. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. South paw style. Ready weapon, fire weapon, use tool, reload. Move. Tune radio. Aim. Inventory. Interact. Run map. Alright, seems pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah. There is a blur effect that I don't know. Pretty, yeah, I think you guys can see it. It's like pretty aggressive chromatic aberration going on on the on the pixel art here. Uh, Signalis, I heard this game looks uh, this game is cool, and I've seen trailers for it, and it looks fucking sick. And it was one of those things that, through the form of Twitter trailers, was like, "Yep, like that, click that, wish list that, purchase that, play that." Immediately on site. Um, okay, I don't know where the best place for my camera to be is, but it's still in the same place it was when we were trying to avoid overlapping text in the previous games we were playing. Um, maybe. Well, I'll put it here for now, and move it if it if it if it needs if it needs moving well not that hey now watch out let's let's see try this out ooh <laughs> Stylish. Yeah, a little bit of, uh, damn, a little bit of, like, memories of fear effect and what that should have been. You know? A little bit of that going on. Stylish. Wake up. Yeah, Fear Effect was like, it was all, it was all the visuals. You saw the visuals and you were like, yo, anime! And, and, that's it. <laughs> that was the, that was the beginning, middle, and end of the thought. <laughs> you know? And then years passed and we went, oh man. Ah, uh, anime. <laughs> Instruction manual. Four pages. Okay. Important objects and items are highlighted with a white box when in range. Running will make Elster more noticeable to enemies. In addition to a weapon, Elster can equip a tool to use on the move. To aim a weapon, press and hold LT. Movement is slower while aiming. While aiming at an enemy, a targeting box will appear around it. When there is a clear line of sight, the box will slowly shrink as the shot gets more precise. A cross will appear inside the box when there's no line of sight. Okay. 
When an enemy is critically wounded, they'll fall to the ground before they can get back up, run up to the enemy, and finish it off quickly by pressing A to save ammo. Look out. Even finished enemies may recover if Elster loiters too long in one area. All right. We're, sur we're surviving. Where we are. Big, big survival horror. Um, on twin stick controls. When your fatal injury is sustained, a warning will briefly pop up on the screen. Elster's current health state can be viewed in the inventory screen. Uh, healing items after using them. Some items can regenerate Elster's health slowly over time when outside the inventory. Uh, there's no autosave or checkpoint system in Signalis. When Elster dies, all progress since your last manual save is lost. Be mindful of your health and resources to survive. Naturally, of course. That's the name of the game. That's the genre. X to open your inventory at any time during gameplay. Uh, uh, will this stop time? That's a good, that's a big question. On the screen, you can see Elster's current health and held items. The inventory space is a precious resource. Elster can only carry an, an, an carry six item stacks at a time. Always make sure you have enough space to pick up important items. Storage box to free up inventory space. Elster can store items in the box found in each save room. Items stored in the box can be retrieved in every save room. Okay. That sounds, uh, yeah. Sounds like it's following the rules. Alright. No limitation on... Our sprint. It's for now. Got a little map. Diagnostics. Oh, interesting. Catatonic, hyperactive. Over. Jesus Christ, it's blurry enough on the screen that I'm having a hard time reading it. Over... Clan... Oh, what does that say? Oh my god. Over clustered. What does that word mean? <laughs> okay, and then the other side... I, it's so blurry, I can't even read it. Jesus. Fragmented. Wow. This filter is insanely aggressive. Um, hmm. Huh. No, it's pretty clear when it wants to be. It just makes me feel like I need glasses. Like, but it's just the filter is really, really strong. Okay. Uh, that's not even CRT mode. Oh Jesus. <laughs> this is this is CRT mode. This is even blurrier. It's not the film grain. It's it's something else. Wait. Okay, no film grain helps. Yeah, film grain helps. Um, but they, it hasn't sharpened everything completely. Like, if you look at the words ver barely visible, clearly visible up there, those are the sharpest things on the screen. You know? All the buttons down at the bottom are still kind of blurry. Wow. Okay. Let me go back to that screen and see if I can, if I can read it a bit better, though. Uh, I'm all for atmosphere, but like... It also needs to be like legible. No, don't don't quit. Don't quit. Uh, let's make sure that we can we can read. Yeah, no, I I it's still it's just a blurry mess from here. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Did I not apply the settings? Oh, I might be a fool. I might be a fool. Uh, CRT mode off. Film grain on. Oh, okay. Apply. Okay. It's 
it's a bit better, but not by much, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The game is just going to be kind of blurry for some of its details. Uh, as long as the dialogue at the bottom of the screen hopefully can be read, then I hope we'll be okay. Um, yeah. Are we completing a map as we as we walk around automatically? Upper gallery. Yep, a little bit. A little bit. The lock is defective. The door cannot be opened. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do everything I can to increase visibility here. I'm going to turn off my mood lighting behind me. Whatever we have behind us glowing in the for the atmosphere also reflects directly onto the TV screen. So uh, sometimes there's a cost. of tape? Yeah. Is that a 3D object I can rotate? Pedros 512. Scout vehicle status monitor. Status critical. System failure detected. Location unknown planetary surface. Report. Crew status. A. Young. Gestalt pilot. No signal. LSTR 512. Replica unit active. Mess hall. Hard landing on surface has damaged critical systems. Warning, severe uh, surface temperature, critically low. Wear, wear protective clothing during AVA. Okay. All right, before we exit, we're gonna need to find something safe to put on. This looks great, man. Yeah, that style of like, everything's just like clean, low poly 3D looks really crisp. LSTR features repair, logic module. Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program, LSTR type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module. RLM, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Access some of the RLM functions. Enter inventory. Select the item to repair. Press A. And select combine to enter combine mode. Oh, we're even doing... Alright. <laughs> Puzzle combinations for... For... Uh, environment solutions. While in combine mode, select the second item to repair. Press A again to combine both items. To repair damage using the replica body, uh, select a suitable repair item and simply choose the use option from the command menu. Okay. Sometimes it can be helpful to take a good look at an object from all sides. Select the inspect option from the command menu to enter inspect mode. While in inspect mode, use the D-pad to rotate the item and look at it from all sides. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just, just to reread that, it's not just talking about how to heal yourself, it's also talking about how to repair equipment. So, repairing equipment is also going to be a thing to worry about. Okay. Um, that little... That little manual did say... Running makes her more noticeable, right? Right, yeah, okay. So don't be sprinting everywhere casually, even though it gets you around faster. You never know what might be lurking. Alright, we took the elevator, and we have pathways on each side. That's x off. 
that door is blocked. South. Huh, okay. So I guess the format of this game is going to be like room by room. Or at least for now. Seems like... It's not super open. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Some rooms are like first person. There's an Ava suit in case. Yeah. All right, so we got our protection for going outside. Uh, how do we crack that open? Insert a key card. Airlock key required. Okay. So. Get the airlock key, get the suit on, open up the airlock, make our way out. Is that a flag? Looks like it. Yeah. The suit has been removed from the case. True, there was someone else in the mess hall. about these blue signs up here a and b all right locked doors both sides there Oh, right to the cockpit. That's pretty small. Okay, this ship ain't... Like a giant derelict, then. Faded photograph is stuck to the LDAM controls. Pick up photograph? Yes. Shades of... An anime person. With some... Fancy hair. Um... Can I... The landing dock assist monitor. It's of no use to me now. Okay, so if we look at the inventory, yeah. So we'll be able to, like, 3D rotate items, or... They kind of rotate themselves. A photograph taken on the self-developing film. Uh, despite the damage, Ariane Young can still be seen on it. Uh-huh. Got some kind of code on the back here. Looks like the pigment was damaged by time and exposure to the elements. Yeah. Can't see what the where well, someone else would have been. Um Alright, looks like a kind of a bit of a, a Y shape with a curl at the end. Oh, let's look at the tape as well. Transparent uh, polypropylene based pressure sensitive tape that can be used for joining, sealing, and attaching and mending. Burr. It's It's tape. Okay. Look at this photograph. The starboard controls panel. The controls aren't responding to any input. Probably an electrical failure. Ship's control panel. Judging from the readout, there's no chance it'll ever fly again. Oh, we're, we're fucking grounded. Yeah. Okay. Nothing individual to interact with beyond the 
the entire screen. And port. Port control panel. There's been a critical system failure due to the hard landing. And from the looks outside, yeah, we're in a pretty, uh... We're like a Hoth-like environment. Icy landscape. Uh, alright. No close inspection of the, uh... The bottom control section, huh? Or the seats? No. Doesn't seem like it. What about the back of these chairs? No? Herman Miller? Alright. We got a photo. I believe the north door was also open beyond the elevator. Locked. Oh, that side's good. Bloody note. Smear diary page. Cycle. 57 something. Woke up from cryo sleep stasis in empty mess hall I was wondering blank elsters looking out like flight deck like some lost in thought sometimes I feel like is home Stalt officer sleeping bug. Well, that's pretty emo. All right, there, Jack. No honored dead are buried here. <laughs> uh, this room looks a little fucked, actually. Yeah, can't take it with us. Okay. Cycle something fifty-seven something, huh? Okay. Penrose type vessel field operations manual. Penrose type vessels are the Euro the Yushin people's navy. Uh, of the Yushin people's navy are low cost space exploration vessels de deployed beyond the solar system's edge in search for planets and moons fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a Gestalt scout officer supported by a land survey ship technician replica. This partner system of Gestalt replica cooperation has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt officer and the technician replica to perform at their optimal capacity. Okay. So, uh, combining sounds like you're a operating with a, a team of a human and a non-human. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck, while the replica will take care of the me mechanical maintenance of the vessel. Yes, yes, okay. So, yeah. <sighs> we get launched in pairs. Um... Although, wait, it didn't specify. It just says there's a replica and there's a gestalt, so we don't necessarily have to assume that uh, for all we know we could both be machines likely given the nature of the mission ah Can 
Did I look at anything else? Nope. Two pieces of a key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Yes. Volume's a little bit low for me. Let me see if I can do it from in-game. That's better. It's a quiet game in general, though. Okay. Magnetic key card that allows access to the Penrose airlock controls snapped in half. Yeah. Never mind the blood stains. There we go. Just tape my bus pass together, please. Thank you. And I guess that's it. All right, we got our key card. Yeah, a bit unclear why the uh, why our card was sitting in in fluid, but. Um, ah, here we are. This would be our memos. Nice. And <laughs> just like Silent Hill, it scrolls indefinitely, but it highlights what you've actually... It highlights your complete list. Lovely. Well done. Good job, guys. No, I can't examine this anymore, can I? No. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, I wonder if it'll show me any doors that I don't walk up to. Okay, so this is now the lower gallery. Yeah, okay, so that's showing up as gray. So, okay. And then once we examine it, we know that it's locked, so it turns red. There you go. That's our little map. Silent Hill marker. And where we woke up. Cool. Let's go use that key. Use their lock key. Swing. Rose engine.
The CRT filter gave you a headache. Yeah, I, I, I can see that aggressive amount of text being deliberately blurred as like that could that could fuck with you after an amount of time. Like you got to be a bit careful with that. Blurring graphics is one thing. Blurring screen text is, is a lot more dodgy. Ooh, OK. First-person mode. No tauntaun to climb inside of. Yeah, you just what, <laughs> you you trust those stairs? Okay, that is a terrifying staircase. Holy shit, man! God damn! There's a strange hole leading deep into the ground. Oh, that's good. That's nice. <laughs> that's there's a faint light glowing in the deep. Crawl into the hole. Yeah! Yeah, always a great idea. This prompt right here, every time in life you're presented with this question, you know, the answer is yes. Absolutely. Every time. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing bad ever happened to anybody that crawled into a hole. Especially the holes that are shaped like they're made for you. An ancient looking tome is lying on the table. It feels like it's calling to me. Pick up the king in yellow? Yeah, sure. True detective, why not? Preparing to send message. Great holes are secretly are digged where earth pours ought to suffice. Oh yeah, on the things that have learned to walk that ought to crawl. Mm-hmm. Remember our promise. See what happens when you try to read books, folks? Don't read. Just don't read. Fuck it. Fuck books. All of them. Forever. It's done. Not even once. Synchronizat. Damn. I didn't even get a chance to look around that room. came all the way here to find her. And there's no turning back now. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. Photograph taken on self-developing film. Despite the damage, Alina Sio can still be seen on it. Pigment damaged by time and exposure to the elements. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Time to uh, initiate a policy of uh, look at everything, touch nothing. Lest we get grabbed by the Yellow King. Bathroom stalls in various states of disrepair. Yeah, staring at yourself in the mirror. Even in space. You can still... Do your Silent Hill. Surface access lift. I don't need to go back. Need to get a key. Visitors pass from the reception. And it actually tells you right off needs key. Okay. Good to know. There's a key card with a note taped to the window of the reception. Due to staff shortage, report new arrivals at classroom 4C, northeast. Yes. And yeah, okay. So our in media language seems to be German. And uh, our narrative filter is can, is translating to English for us. Sure. Uh, visitor pass for the Aeon facility S23 Sier Sierpinski. Alright. This is where I came from. There's no point in going back. Is it where you came from? Okay. Welcome to S23 Sierpinski. You've been selected or have s elected to be relocated by Aeon to S23 Sierpinski. Located on Lang at the frontier of the solar system, S23 Sierpinski is the perfect place for a new beginning. At our prestigious beep vocational school facility, you'll learn new skills to shape your future as a productive citizen of our wonderful nation. Here you'll learn all about mineral extraction or refinement and munitions production, helping the war effort against the remnants of the Empire. Of course there's a war against the Empire. Why the fuck wouldn't there be something like that in the background? Uh, <laughs> uh, at the farthest reaches of space. And of course, learning is not just about theory. Aeon lets you earn your share while practicing your new craft right at the workplace. Oh, man. God. Why is it always a war against the Empire? Well, it's either that or there is no war. It's just the Megacorp's rule space. So, take your pick. Concerned about your family, friends, former colleagues? Ask a protector about our race ration sharing plan. A portion of your ration marks will be sent to a beneficiary of your choice. It's good life. Sounds sounds like a good good way to be. That's very fulfilling. Door cannot be opened. All right. Uh-huh. We got a fun door over there. 
quite a few, actually. Shit's locked. Hey, camera. Yeah. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Denk on the Regel der um, Eins, zwei, drei. I don't know anything past one, two, three. Actually, I'm about to pretend I know six. Trag ni mehr als six. Gergenstande. Benzir. Beizir. All right. Six. Sex. Yes. Zex. Sex. Of course. Zex Marquis. <laughs> uh, damn it. Reggie, I need you. I can't speak other languages. The rule of six. Remember the rule of six. Never carry more than six items on your person. Private property is a privilege. Keep your pockets empty and your bag light. Is that a corporate rule? Or is that a video game survival technique? I'll take it as both. Shit's locked. Permanently. You do distinguish between the two. Door cannot be opened, nor should it. We have sealed it away for your safety. Uh, is there a button to get right to the map? Let's see. X brings me straight to the inventory. Back is straight to the memory. Um, triangle. There we go. A dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. Infected looking. Biocomponents are bulging out of her damaged shell. What happened to her that would cause this? Mm -hmm. Oh, RT and Circle are both sprint. But that's also fire gun, so... that shriek and horrifying moment of potentially damage into instant death was actually a save. Lovely. I thought I looked at a death screen. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I made the mistake of interacting with an instant kill object. All right. Yes. Yes. Red monitors. That's what we want to look for. Man, I played Silent Hill right on time. Not a moment too soon. Service request form, F29. Date of filing service request form, 8421-4. Full protector ID of filing request, unit of unit filing request, uh, Euler S2309 replica. Status staff, departments censored, full protector ID of unit processing requests, replica, uh, ARAR, S2303. Okay. So, two different replicas there. Service object, Monden Tokter. Uh, high security wall safe, numeric keypad, location of objects, uh, 
of object classroom 4b description the wall safe in classroom 4b keeps resetting to the default combination what's the point of a whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened with a code in the manual hmm Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oft seich nügen führen. Alles protokoll. Protokulteren? Protoculture? Isaac the culture? Macross? No? Denke data. Was nicht. Uh, off Kelleren. <laughs> uh, the word ist nie passiert. Man. Um, yeah. Die Gedanken sind frei. Not Deutschland über alles. Keep records. Protocol everything. Remember, if you didn't write it down, it never happened. Get the right forms from administration and save your files frequently. Nine or nine ish luft balloons. Uh, memorandum wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the proto protector wall safes. Uh, any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Adler. Okay. Codes are in the radio. Camera still looking. Door is open. And save is denoted by a big red grid. Yeah. Right. Oh shit. Okay. That's a big corridor. Uh, well, first things first, let's continue examining the dead body corridor. Remember the rule of six. Service request form. Yeah, I think we found everything there. Nothing along the bottom here besides that. Uh-huh. Hey, buddy. A dead Yule unit. Why was she abandoned here? Yep. And that one's open. Okay. Library. Aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, I could view its content here. Okay, gotta find the microfish. <laughs> Reflections, man. <laughs> uh, a well placed mirror when you don't know it's a mirror? That'll get you. That will get you. A simple first aid kit. I can't use any of these since they're not designed for replicas. Ah, yes, we need to repair ourselves, not heal or consume plants. No secrets back here. Or back there. All right, we come to the library. 
when we get ourselves a aperture card. Gonna rotate through four, huh? Yeah, all right. Sure. All right, so that door's open. Mm -hmm. You're open. You're locked. Okay. It's another flag. Laufen in den Gangen verboten. Verboten. Hab Rücksicht. Rücksicht. Auf dein Nachbarn. Jeden kann dich laufen horen. No running in the hallways. No running in the hallways. Be mindful of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that. I'm like, I'm walking slow and I'm like, oh, I want to get to the places faster, but uh, they've told me twice now. And if they told me twice, then mom's not telling me again. There's the wall safe, but we need our radio to hear the codes. And I see you looking at me. I see you looking at me. What's up? Can I meow and then make you go like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, return with the password. What's this? Huh, what does that mean? Is it like a hide prompt? Well, buttons aren't doing anything. Can't interact with whatever's happening down there. Hmm. Odd. When I was hidden behind the bookcase before, it didn't show me anything to indicate where I was hidden. Hey. An Elster unit. You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? Man, that is a space. <laughs> that is a sp at space anime military uniform. If I've ever seen one. God damn. You are on the bridge of, of a giant gunship, and there's someone behind you with their hand out calling for lasers and missiles at 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 port 15 o'clock uh yeah no you're a space German for sure fire the long hand green cannons I don't know her but she might be one of the workers All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. I feel like I'm... Like, I feel like I'm Bishop talking to Bishop, you know? Or Bishop talking to Michael, almost. I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. You should be out of- you should get out of here, too. 
I don't know who that woman is, but she's probably dead by now. If you still want to go, good luck. There's an access elevator to the mineshaft, one level below. But you'll need your administrator's key to use it. Yep. Okay. Okay, well, if you've got yourself repairs going, then you do your thing. This lock is defective. The store cannot be opened. Uh, we came from the south. Uh, Bishop is in Bishop from Alien, and Michael is in Michael from Prometheus. The non-humans needs a key. Classroom key required. Okay. Yeah, the milk droids, exactly. <laughs> That's a good name for them. <laughs> Uh, all right. All right, we got the south door. Affectionately called Milk Draw. Was that my shadow? Yes. Yes, that is my shadow. <laughs> uh, why is my shadow there? behaving in that way it's the floor beneath it's just that far down okay <laughs> yeah okay so the light source is above casting onto the grate and then the floor beneath is like that and it's just in a position to make you fucking yeah whoa a little 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 shadow jump scare a little bit you know all right uh, affectionately called milk droids because uh, when they bleed, they bleed delicious 2% uh, milk. Alright. Running in the hallways. Bad idea. Um, let me check this prompt again. classroom key for that door and uh, what was the other yellow door not to mention once we get the radio we're going to have to get the password for the lock Doesn't specify the kind of key. Uh, okay. Wooly versus the algorithm.